Thank you very much. Haven't heard that in a while. Good, okay. Yeah, so the tack's not working. I think there's a leak in the yeah, I think it's a leak in the air system. Air system, because the brake pressure's not coming. I should have worked. The tank's just plain stuck. But... Yeah, it might be. All right, well, let's get it inside and we can all go to lunch. So where do we stand and uh, what are we trying to accomplish here besides just running? Well, I know we got the tank fixed. Yeah, we built a new tank. Um, it's got fuel in the bottom tank. is completely full. The top tank's got enough to prove it's not going to leak. Okay. So, All right. Well, it'll be familiar. It'll, we got a fire bottle and as long as we don't have fuel pouring out, we ought to be safe to uh, crank it up and taxi around. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Yeah. And it'll be smoky. I want to hug you a headset. Okay. okay. Okay, so I'll cut off and get the primer. I got the fuel on. You've probably actually pump. got enough fuel in it at this point, but you might need it. We'll try that. I can always pump more in if I need it. Yeah. Okay, the, it's uh, got chocks. Clear. Clear. There we go.
things as a list, but that's all right. <laughs> Not too bad. You know, I don't remember. I kind of remember it's the last time. There's no tack. Tack zero. Oh, again, yeah, it. we fixed it. We sent it and had it done. Yeah, it's well, man, did you hook it back up again? <laughs> did, yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, just double check. The, yeah, I'll uh, run it up, but it's probably just stuck. But, the, you know, I don't know what it is with the, the brakes, but, like, you know, I went ahead and I just kind of ran it. When I had no tack, I didn't know what kind of RPM I had. Yeah, I saw but it was I, creeping. Yeah. But I could see with the boost. Yeah. I was I was at about minus four, minus three boost, you know, so probably 22 inches or something like that, and it was starting to creep. Yeah, I, saw I could that. never get it to, to zero. But the problem is what you got to be careful of is when I first ran it up, I had it on the parking brake, okay? Ah. But what you got to do is, if you run it up, sometimes if the tail's too light, the tail will come up. You got to be able to let the brakes go so the airplane right. will go forward. Right, right, right. So anyway, so the next time I did it, I, I was pulling on it, and you saw that it was creeping. Okay, so the brakes are creeping. I mean, it, they fly that way? Do they need to be scuffed up? Well, that's what I was said to whoever I was talking to. Yeah, there could be surface rust on the drums again now. Right. Well, but also too, that was I, I, I'm just I'm kind of getting familiar with it again. But that was at about 80 pounds of brake pressure. Now maybe more brake pressure, they would hold better. I think the brakes are limited to a lower pressure than the rest of the system, but I could be wrong. Well, it actually the the system, you know, on the triple pressure gauge. Right. The, the right and the left to go up to 120, but I only I, I went ahead and started taxing at 80, right. which sounded about right. And I kept watching it to make sure that I always had brake pressure. Yeah. Um, but by that amount of time, the oil and the radiator were up into the into where you do a run up. Right. So um, anyway, Max Master Fuel. Um, I guess you want to fly it then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just need a tack. Also, too, there was a couple of switches that were out of place. The supercharger is supposed to be an auto, and it was a manual. But, right. But whatever. Anyway, so but I'll and at some point, you know, we'll taxi it around again, get more familiar with it. I'll before we ever get close to flying, and I'll pull the manual out and really do a really sure. good pressure. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you what. While I'm sitting here, you want to check the flaps because I still got pressure. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Yeah, they should. Be. You haven't got enough pressure. No, but they didn't go down one at a time, did they? No, well, they did there, but you haven't got enough. They should slam down as a pair. Well, they better not go down no, one at a time. No, you have a problem. Yeah, you got no pressure. All right, okay. Um, I, know you, I, I didn't get any green lights on those. No, I, I already knew that from this morning when I powered it up. For the gear. The switches are just going okay. up again. All right, okay. What did you say to me about the fuel pressure warning light right at the start? Did it? Yeah. It did or it didn't or it. No, as soon as you turn the master switch on, it comes on. Yeah, it should. And then I'm pretty, sh I'm pretty sure it went off. I didn't. It's almost instantaneous. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, that was good. And uh, and the whole time I was taxiing around, the boost pump was off. So. Good. All right. Well, that's some good stuff. Yeah. Good. All right. Beautiful airplane. <laughs>